hello guys good evening this is life issue and this is blessing thank you so much for coming to my channel we talk about family issue life relationship lifestyle and parenting this evening i want to talk about a viral video that i saw of a prophet blasting or will i say ranting about bb ninja now i'm going just going to look at what he said and analyze what he said at the end of the video i will give you people's comments okay now if you haven't seen this video of prophet ebelen nachuku talking about the ills of bb ninja and how he wants to shut down bb ninja spiritually if you haven't seen that video i'm going to put it here for you to watch when you finish watching I will come back and we will talk about it. Thank you. Government of Federal Republic of Nigeria. My name is Prophet Ebele Nachuku. I want to ask you people this question, please. What is happening in this country? Have you people sold this country to BB Niger? BB Naija is he the president of this country or President Muhammad Buhari? I'm asking Buhari, Buhari himself. Our children, they are no more going to school. Our children are losing their academic standard, academic their memory. The one they learn is going out of them. What is happening? BB Niger has made our children, our school children to be living negative lives, which is very bad. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Something must be done. Government of Federal Republic of Nigeria, wake up and stop this nonsense BB Niger of a thing. This is not a time for it. The Bible said in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there is time for everything. There is time to dance. The whole world is sweeping. Pandemic everywhere. Coronavirus is killing. You are here watching Niger, BB Niger. What is your dream and vision? The reason, the purpose. You will bring out that BB Niger to corrupt our children. You gave them online lesson. You taught us to go online lesson. Then we bought Android phone and give them. They are now using the Android smartphones. To watch BB Niger. What is happening in this country? If Nigerian government did not shut BB Niger down, I will shut them down by force. With my spiritual capability, I can do it. I know who I am. I'm not a prophet that is boasting. With my spiritual level. I will destroy BB Niger. I will use my knee, my mouth, my spiritual power on them. So it's better for you to close them now because they are, they are consuming the mind and destroying the mind of our children. But I cannot take this nonsense again from this country. Uh, thank you so much for watching that video. All right, so this prophet is very angry now he's not just the only one that's angry there's so many other parents in nigeria who after you know seeing or watching what is happening in big brother nigeria they find out that that is not educational that is actually a little bit you know sexual i, I know i've seen big brother um, nigeria i've also watched other big brother in the western world i think nigerian big brother their content sometimes could be very sexual their content sometimes sometimes is not intellectual and they are when they do their games and their house games uh, sometimes it tend to be much more things that are sexually motivated than other country now i also know that big brother nigeria is 18 plus so it's a censored time that they actually i mean it's essentially is a censored um program so it's actually you know get towards those who are 18 plus 
and it's not like he's in the local TV. So you have to have a cable TV. You have to, you know, switch your TV to that particular channel. And you also have to be watching it, sitting down to watch it. Yeah, we understand the fact that there are viral news now. I mean, people post it on their social media, a clip of what has happened. But really, it's just like people also posting porn, okay? You cannot control the social media. So it's not just really about Big Brother Nigeria. It's about what is happening in Big Brother Nigeria and the fact that you cannot control social media. There is no way you can control social media. The actual program that is being aired on our TV, as a parent, you can control it. You can monitor the time your children go to bed. You can actually put a parental pin on the tv remote or on the tv setting that is so they will never watch it but it now boils down to how old are your children for them to be assessing mobile phone or any of this technology that gives them the permission or the ability or the app to be on social media why should a child a young child be on instagram why should a young child be on facebook actually on their own and being able to go through this because that's where you see this video instagram social media, um facebook twitter that is where this video the things that are happening inside big brother nigeria is being tweeted or being you know the videos are being circulated now let's want to talk about what he has to say now well he's trying to make some points some nigerians are for him some are not for him for me personally i don't see any value big brother adds to anybody's life yeah but it is still a form of entertainment some people find their you know their group from it some people feel like it's a soft you know porn maybe like they some people look at it based on relationship you know how people could develop relationship or you know the concept of what happens in a house or if the whole world is only these people what could happen so there are people who study human behavior or human psychological relationship or mental issue actually do use big brother to study to actually look at interaction with people therapists will look at big brother and to look at how people interact but i know it's not everybody's cup of tea i don't know about the content i don't know how this year's big brother in nigeria has been i haven't been watching it i'm just like following it on my vlog when it's so people that you know people that follow my vlog post it for me to post for them but i've not been watching it but i've seen the clip that this man is referring to these people were actually you know either they're acting out sexual acts i don't even i don't think they're actually doing it well as a pastor i don't think he will want to see this but the question everybody is asking which also i'm also asking is why is he watching it now he said that his child or his children have been told to study online now as a parent you should have a study time for your child so you bought your child a tablet okay you have to monitor them you just don't give them the tablet i have a seven year old he has a tablet he has a phone he has like five gadgets but we have a time so he uses it like two hours in a day and i monitor i check what he's watching so giving excuses or saying blaming the government or big brother for what your child is doing because you do not monitor parental counsel like you don't know how to monitor and how to guide your child to do the right thing why are you blaming big brother am i saying big brother is is right to be in our air i'm not saying it is but i'm also saying that you as a parent you also have a part to um, to play the Bible says, train up your child in the way he should go. And when he grew up, he will not depart from it. If your child is trained in the way they should go, when they cannot leave the site for their schoolwork, they cannot go to a social media site. If you've told them never to go there, my son doesn't go to Facebook, doesn't go to Instagram. He cannot, he doesn't even have those accounts. He just goes to the site that he needs to go for his homework. Sometimes on TikTok, which is his own personal TikTok, he doesn't go anywhere else. We, we, he's not allowed and he knows that. And so that's where parenting issue comes in. Now, I'm going to pick out some of the things that he said, okay? He was talking about Buhari shutting down the big brother house, you know, take I'm like, seriously, this is the problem we have in this country. You are talking about democracy and you are actually trying to support tyranny. You know, you're trying to support um, dictatorship. Well, Harry does not have the right to shut down Big Brother. 
you as a viewer you have the right to petition NBC National Broadcasting Corporation. I think you have the right to petition them. You have a right as a parent to write to them. You have a right to, to write DSTV. You have a right to protest. You have this right. But you cannot tell the president to go and just shut something down. A, a pastor now, you should be, you know, thinking about teaching people due process and telling people what is right in the sight of God. Even if god does not like it but god is still not a he's an orderly god okay he's not he's not he is not he doesn't work in chaos so when i heard what you were saying i'm like okay this guy is really getting out of point here because he should not be encouraging the government going to shut down he keeps using the word shut. sounding very authoritative as if like it is a dictatorship regime that we are um well i don't, I don't know what's going on here well, his words kept, you know, ringing, shut down, shut down, shut down, take it down. I'm like, okay, where is he coming from? Well, that's another thing he said, yeah. You know, people, I'm like, he, you know, what? at the end of the day, as a pastor, you can preach. You can go on the pulpit, you can preach in Nigeria. You can preach and preach and preach. Even in church, when you even say, there was the fear, but they don't watch it. But you cannot control people and what they want to watch. You, this is out of your jurisdiction. You can only teach them the word of God, but people, adults, especially plus 18, I mean, adults, they have a right to watch whatever they want to watch. Whether it's good in the sight of God or not, is for them to actually be judged with their maker. You you shouting brimstone and fire, how you're going to destroy, how you, I mean, okay, if you destroy, um, Big brother with the contestant inside, you're not going to be killing people. I, I actually don't get where this ranting was coming from or where this anger was coming from, apart from the fact that his child or his children are watching what he felt was immoral. So, why don't you step up as a parent and control and censor what your child is watching? Is Big Brother a very good? program to be airing no i don't think so i don't think it's educational i don't think it's edifying but as a christian i'm not even going to bother watching it but i'm not going to control what other people will watch because at the end of the day <laughs> that, that porn porn sites have not been shot okay even in the uk there's some tv that is dedicated to porn sites you cannot control you cannot censor see as the day gets closer to our to coming of our lord jesus christ these are things that we will be seeing. So instead of us, yeah, killing ourselves and, you know, talking on things that we know will not happen, you will rant and rant and rant. You will call the Holy Spirit, tell them you're going to use fire. Then they'll make a mockery of you if you did not do anything. Maybe five five months down the line now or three months down the line, they start calling you fake pastor or calling you name and say, why didn't you use your power? I mean, there are better things to do. And you know what? When you start talking about this, yeah, and start talking about take down, take down, all this nonsense. It also shows to people or like people keep wondering, why have you not used that power? That power that you have. Have we have not used it to solve Nigerian problem? We have politicians rooting us. We have people taking our money overseas. Cars not being, you know, roads not being done. We have hospitals. Why have you not used that your spiritual level and that your spiritual maneuver and that your spirituality to make these things to work, to make our life better? Why is it on Big Brother? I mean, <laughs> oh, when you finish with Big Brother, you go to different porn sites or I, I, I don't know. Well, at the end of the day, when I watch this video, all I can say is we need to calm down. Like, you know, like the little boy say, calm down. No matter how much, yeah, you try to shout and control people. Pastors need to understand that there is a level to people that they can maneuver, okay? If people are not under your ministry, if you are not their pastor, if they are not listening to you, if they have not taken you as a man of God, when you speak, it to them is like rant. It's like a sieve because they don't know you. They don't even know you as a as a as a pastor. They don't even know who you are. All right. So ranting and talking about you're gonna destroy this. I'm gonna, people are just laughing. In the end, this man might be making a lot of sense and saying what is you know what makes sense. 
he might be saying what makes sense, but the way he has put it, the way he's going about it has made everything he said become null and void. I mean, there are better ways, there are ways to go about sorting this kind of a thing. Use the legal system, use the laid down law, ranting and shouting automatically place you in the same level as people who are on social media to clot. Okay. So people are now thinking that you're just there, not being serious, just wanting to clot. And people can now insult you and insult your ministry and insult your anointing. You don't need that pastor. All right. That's my take on this video that's gone viral. What do you guys think about it? Please help me drop your comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. God bless you. Bye-bye.